27 now, two more tonight. Do you think he's a bit underappreciated in terms of like uh, league-wide recognition for the amount of production he puts up? Um, I don't know. It's hard to really put that into words. I think he's definitely appreciated here. And, um, you know, playing with him and you know, seeing him work every day. Um, you see how skilled he is, and, and for not being the biggest guy, he plays the edge. I think you know, he just continues to get better and better. And, um, I don't know. I mean, uh, I hope that would be the case, but it, it could be. And I, but I think you know, obviously here, everybody uh, understands and appreciates. What, what makes you two such a good fit? Um, it's a, a good question. I think you know, just trying to play the give and go game. Obviously, he's got a great shot. He finds the net, so. Just, I'm out there looking for him, but you know he's somebody who can hold on to the puck and make plays himself. Uh, he's got a great shot. He goes to tough areas, so um, you know, he's he's really a complete player. Taylor, you uh, you clinch a playoff spot for the 16th season in a row. Is it hard to not take that for granted with the streak going on as long as it has been? Yeah, I mean every year is a challenge, and um, you know you, you need so many things to go right to give yourself an opportunity to play in the playoffs. And, it's not, it's not given to you, and you see how tight the league is. It's, it's not easy, so uh, you appreciate those opportunities. You work hard. Uh, everybody works hard. And, you know, give ourselves a chance to do that. Um, you know, whether it's guys that are in Wilkes right now, I mean, there's so many people that that contribute into your team having success, and, uh, you know, it's it's good to know that, but we've got some games here to, to keep playing the right way and build our game for the playoffs. Sid, speaking of that postseason streak, in mid-November, you guys were second worst record in the Metro, and you were lower third of the league at that point. You just played a handful of games. What stands out to you about the way you guys went from that team to the one that we're seeing right now to qualify again for the postseason? Yeah, I just I think everybody, you know, different guys at different points in the year stepping up, and I feel like everyone has contributed. Um, you don't you don't get to that point without consistency. And you found some consistency. I think was our goaltending or special teams or guys, you know, catching fire at the right times and coming up with big goals. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of different stuff, you know, to try to, you know, put in perspective or try to describe, you know, a whole season worth of work. And, uh, I think that it just, it comes down to everyone contributing and we had that you know, all the way through. Seth, right. uh, Mike, uh, Sid, Mike Matheson contributed on your goal tonight. Um, what does he do now? As a you know, top parent defenseman compared to maybe when he first joined the team 13, 14 months ago, what does he know more about how the game is played now compared to uh, that time? Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's probably a question for him. I think that, you know, just <clears throat> from playing with him and, and watching him, I think like anybody, you know, when you go to a new team, it takes a while just to, you know, to get comfortable. And, uh, I think that just, you know, his game is just continuing to get better and he's confident. He's strong on the puck and can make plays offensively. So I think, you know, just all those little things, I think with time, you know, you just get more and more confident. Sam? Sid, now that you have qualified again for the postseason, with the six games that you've got left in the regular season, in your opinion, what's more important? Is it playoff positioning, slotting yourself as high as you can, or is it more just important to refine your own game and get yourselves as sound as possible going into the bracket? Yeah, I mean, I think one kind of helps the other, so I think just try and play, play the right way, build, and uh, you know, obviously you want to win hot games and feel good about your game. So I think those those tend to go together most times. So um, we've done some good things and haven't got the results, and uh, you know I think if we continue to do that, limit limit team scoring chances and, and play a tight game and uh, really prepare ourselves that way, then uh, I think that's the most important thing, and, and hopefully with that comes the results. Yeah. Sid, coming down the stretch here, you got a little crazy at the end of the game. What are your thoughts, confidence on Tristan and the way he's played, and also with Casey, the goaltending you guys have done? Yeah, they've been really solid. Um, you know, those guys have been uh, been steady, and I think we're always working to try to you know, limit chances or you know not make them uh, have quite as much as much work on a nightly basis. But um, there are going to be times where there's breakdowns or good opportunities and. They've been huge, you know, making key saves, timely saves. Um, that's what you need. It's, it's a huge amount of boost. So 
I think just, uh, you know, they've been playing Unreal, and I'm sure they'll continue to play the same way, but we've got a ton of confidence in both of them. Last one, Mike. So was there any more emphasis tonight to get down below the goal line and, and start working the offense from there? And were you guys collectively a little more aware of pouncing on turnovers or bounces and transitioning? Um, well, I think we, we liked what we did. And I think there, as far as in the second period, you know, we allowed his own time, created a lot that way. And I think we wanted to build off of that. Felt like, you know, in the second and third period when we were there, uh, we had more of that zone time. And more than down a bit, so I think coming into tonight, that was our mindset, just to keep, you know, keep doing that. We've got good results from that, so um, yeah, I, I would say that you know, playing a team twice in a row like that, it's, it's fresh in your